beautiful jewelry from the most luxurious brands at a fraction of the retail price. Luxury Bazaar has the best selection. Thank you to Luxury Bazaar for sponsoring today's video. Their website will be linked down below. Hey beauties, welcome back. In this week's Best of the Brand, I'm talking all about Tom Ford. A bit confusing, I'm sure to some, because I did recently post a poll to my community page where I asked you guys what brand you'd like to see next. I didn't even list Tom Ford as an option, it sort of slipped my mind, but I read through all of the comments, you guys had some great suggestions, so thank you so much for participating. And a lot of people mentioned that they were interested in Tom Ford. Then I recently picked up the new foundation and I just became completely inspired to focus on Tom Ford this week, go through all of my favorite items, everything they have to offer, and come up with a solid top 10 best of the best. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. This is our pink sparkly bubble on YouTube where we talk about luxury, beauty, fragrance, everything glam in between. So I hope you'll join our community by subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and let's get started. This time around, I'm going in order of face, then eyes and lips because I want to begin with the shade and illuminate. This is considered to be one of the three Tom Ford beauty essentials. I learned about this in a Tom Ford training a while ago. The other two essentials are the brow perfector. That's the one that comes with the refill, not to be confused with the newer brow perfecting pencil and also the illuminating primer. Those two along with the shade and illuminate. I really like the Brow Sculptor. I also really like the Illuminating Primer. I think they are great products offered by Tom Ford. I don't necessarily think they are best of the brand. I think there are other products that beat them out, but I do really love this cream highlighting contour. And I believe when they refer to Shade and Illuminate, they also consider the powder. So there are a lot of products called Shade and Illuminate. You have several different powders. There are several different versions of this. They expanded the shade range, thankfully. So I have the shade Intensity 1. I've used the contour a lot more than I've used the cream highlight. And they give that glass skin, almost wet effect. I'm gonna go ahead and tap a little bit of this on my cheeks. You can see it in action. It's not too sticky and I think it actually looks pretty natural. I already have highlight on, so right now it's looking maybe a little bit more intense than it normally would. If you use this by itself, it would be very beautiful. There is a specific brush that goes with this product. I believe it's called the Shade and Illuminate brush. You certainly don't need it. I think that's when products like this can seem really complicated when there's a specific application tool, but there is a tool, there's a technique. I don't own the brush. I've never felt like I needed one, but just so I can sort of show you, you're meant to take the very flat synthetic brush, not a fluffy hairy brush, and this little divot right here, it's right above the top of the ear, sort of in the temple. There's a little indentation on everybody and you kind of put the brush right there, rest it there, lean down at a 45 degree angle and you're meant to bring it directly forward and just kind of swipe the brush and then blend. And that's where you contour. You know your face, you know what you like, what looks good on you. You could probably experiment with it if you're not 100% sure what you prefer. But basically you just kind of want to go in this area whenever you're using the contour. You can also contour around the temples, the hairline, anywhere where you would bronze, but this is going to create more of a shadowy effect because it is the shade to the illuminate. Next for face is the translucent finishing powder. I have the shade O2 Ivory Fawn. I love the little brush that comes with it. I think this is really convenient if you are taking this in your purse or your travel makeup bag. I like that the two are separate. It's not just like a sponge or something sitting directly on top of the powder. It is luxury, of course, Tom Ford. But I love this powder because it's very mattifying, yet so sheer. So it acts like a powder, but you can't see it. This is truly one of my favorite compact powders Ever. And it lasts such a long time because you only need a tiny bit. Like I said, it's very mattifying. I don't grab this that often. I don't typically like to travel with a powder. I almost feel like I save this. It's one of those products that I don't want to touch too often. I kind of want to savor it. I want to make it last as long as possible. But I really should use it because it looks fairly beautiful. 
The Tom Ford blushes are some of my favorite blushes from any brand. They are so amazing. They have a great shade range, but they're incredibly pigmented. So this will last me such a long time. A little bit is all you need. You truly only have to tap your brush. And they have a couple different shades that are really popular. Frantic Pink is really beautiful. Wicked is the best kind of true pink blush if you're looking for more of that kind of rosy flush. That one is beautiful. This one is my personal favorite. This is Love Lust. It looks sort of boring in the pan, but on the cheek it looks so beautiful. It's a very natural blush. It's really the perfect shade of blush for a red lipstick or a bold eye, something really smoky and dramatic. Whenever you want your cheeks to be a little bit softer and more subdued, Love Lust is the perfect blush. And I did the math because these do retail for $63, but if you compare this directly with the Chanel blushes, it, they actually are a better value because this comes with 0.28 ounces of product. The Chanel is, I think, 0.17 ounces of product for $45. And I did some calculations. This is a better value. If you have not tried their blushes, you will be addicted because they are just so good, so luxurious, and they're giant. The last two face products I have here to mention are both from the Soleil Blanc collection. I actually think this highlighter might have been a Winter Soleil launch, but Soleil Blanc, Winter Soleil, they're usually limited edition collections, but they're constantly rotating. And there are some products that are just so popular, Paradiso Lipstick, for example, that they bring it out time and time again. And I believe this is one of the products that is always in rotation, and this is the bronzer. I have Gold Dust. I actually recently picked this up. This is the smaller version. They also have the large Jumbo Compact, which makes a statement, that's for sure. Not so great for travel. This is the smaller version. It's such a beautiful bronze. I love this shade. Terra was the name of the lighter, more matte shade, and Gold Dust is a little bit deeper and has a slight luminosity to it. I know these came out last season. I'm sure they will bring them back again. If not, they will bring out a similar concept, same packaging, but they might have a different name or a different shade. But these are generally always around. They sell out pretty quickly, but then they come back. I love the Soleil Blanc Winter Soleil packaging, the white and gold. This is just so feminine and so luxurious. I don't really like the mahogany and gold. I'm just gonna go out and say it. I know some people think it's very classic. I find it to be really masculine. I really love my white and black Chanel compacts. I really love the rose gold packaging from Charlotte Tilbury. I love the gold accent. I just don't really like the mahogany. I don't think it really goes with anything else in my collection. This right here is the dust cover for the bronzer I just picked up. And this right here is the dust cover for the other item I'm about to show you. So as you can see, the white is very chic and feminine, but not incredibly practical. It shows dirt and filth very quickly. This one I have had around for a long time. I had to mention it because I noticed that it was still available on the Tom Ford website. I don't think you can find this in any other retailers, but it is one of my favorite products from Tom Ford. One of my favorite products in my makeup collection, so I had to talk about it. And it's this highlighter. I know I just did a highlighter video. I failed to mention this. That was an oversight on my part because this truly is one of my favorites. This one is the Radiant Perfecting Powder in the shade Gilt Glow, 01. This is a little bit more pearly, so this is going to be best for somebody with a light skin tone. But what I love about it is that it looks, I don't know, it looks pretty in the pan, but it kind of seems like something you've probably seen before. But this powder on skin has the most beautiful champagne gold, slightly rosy tone to it. It is just so unique because you look at it and you think it probably is just your basic pearl highlighter and it's not. It is so pretty. Definitely one of my favorite highlighters. One of the best Tom Ford products I've ever come across. I was so happy when I picked this up. I remember sort of being on the fence because it was so expensive. I want to say this was $68 and the circle is so small. And when I first opened it up, I thought, oh, I'm probably going to return this. And then I swiped it on my cheek, instantly fell in love. 
It turns out I do have one more face product here to mention. At the same time that Perfecting Powder was launched, so were the Glow Drops. These shades are no longer available, or at least I could not find them, but this past season's are Reflex Gilt and Glacial Rose. So those are still available online, and I think this is one of the best products from Tom Ford. This one is, they were mismarked, so it says Liquid Sky, this one says Liquid Sun, but I remember a friend of mine who worked for Tom Ford told me that there was a packaging issue. So this is supposed to be Liquid Sun, this one should be Liquid Sky, but these are both so beautiful. And for $50, I think these were really reasonable. It comes in the little dropper, which isn't always successful because this is more of a thick, creamy liquid highlighter, but I love these highlights. And the shades are, like the Perfecting Powder, different than you'd expect. This looks sort of bronzy gold, but it's more of a champagne shade. This liquid sun, I'm gonna call it the right name, this is perfect for mixing into your foundation, a body moisturizer, putting on your neck chest decollete. I would smear this all over my body. And then this one, the liquid sky, is great for mixing into your concealer, anywhere that you want a boost of highlight, boost of radiance. It's more of a lightweight gel feel. So it just blends so beautifully. It never feels tacky, greasy, or sticky. You can mix this into anything, really. Get creative with it. Oh, and it gives the most beautiful, luminous sheen to the skin. Moving on now to eyes. This next product is an easy no-brainer. I think it was the first item that I added to my top 10 list. It's the Eye Defining Pen. The liquid eyeliner from Tom Ford is one of the best liquid eyeliners. It is so good. And it's also one of the few products from Tom Ford that I would consider to be a relatively good value because it's double-sided, two cartridges. So it's basically two for the price of one. One is a higher price point. I believe this is $59. So it comes out to be about $30 per eyeliner, which is right there on par with every other luxury brand. One side is a sponge tip, the other side is a brush tip. So you can achieve a very thin, precise line or a thicker cat eye effect. It's totally up to you. I've been using this for months now. Every time you see me doing my makeup on camera, I'm using this pen. I know I generally fast forward, so I'm zip, 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 zipping, making it look really easy. But it is actually very easy, and I think this has got to be one of the most popular Tom Ford products. Once you use this eyeliner, you kind of don't use anything else. It's just that good, it lasts that long, and it's double-sided. So this is one of their best products. Let's talk about the Tom Ford Eyeshadow Quad. There are a couple different formulas. Some you may really love, others not so much. So I have two of my favorites right here. These are both the Wet to Dry formula. That is my personal favorite. So this palette right here is Body Heat. Very beautiful, warm, neutral palette. You can use this for daily looks. You can also create more dramatic looks. I think this is just a really universally flattering type of palette. Kind of have this warm brown right here, but very beautiful and basic. The palette that I have on today is Nude Dip. This is the perfect sort of classic Tom Ford quad. I believe this is one of the first quads that they came out with. It's been around for years and years because I remember lusting after this eyeshadow quad when I worked in Nashville. So it's been around for a while. It's kind of the perfect everyday quad. Even though all of these eyeshadows are luminous, they're not overly shimmery. It's not extreme. They aren't the celestial shadows that are really sparkly and glittery. Nothing like that. I'm using just this on my eyes today and I think it's really easy to come up with nice makeup looks. I don't think the other eyeshadow formulas or quad styles are bad, not all of them at least, and I've generally had decent luck with the mattes. I really love those celestial, really sparkly eyeshadows. They make great toppers, even though you're only going to use those shadows every once in a while. It's certainly not a daily eyeshadow. Um, but I do really like them. I just prefer the wet to dry formula. They are the most consistent across the board. I've never used one of those palettes and thought, no, you know, this really didn't work for me this time. I just think they are always really good. Number nine and 10 are both lips. So next I have the lip gloss. This is the Tom Ford Gloss Luxe. 
I think this is just the epitome of Tom Ford luxury because it is so over the top. They upped the price, so I believe the glosses are now $55. Right there with the lipsticks, they come in this beautiful weighted packaging. I think you could probably chuck this at somebody and use it as a weapon in a pinch if you needed to. It is just that heavy. But they're so beautiful, they're so luxurious and glamorous. Nobody needs this. This is not a makeup essential. It just makes you feel like you are a dang queen. It is so glamorous. Number 14, Crystalline, is my favorite shade. Number 13 is really beautiful as well. Some of the darker shades bleed a little bit. They are pretty pigmented, and I like my glosses to be a little bit more sheer and glossy. So I really like the nude shades. They just go on like a dream, so smooth. I can apply this on top of any lipstick I have. It will make it maybe slightly lighter, but it won't alter the shade too much. I actually put a little bit of this on top of my lipstick today. It's probably faded a little bit. This is just my favorite lip gloss. As soon as I run out of this, I will restock it because it is one of the most glamorous, luxurious items in my makeup collection. And then number 10, I'm grouping lipsticks together. And I know that's sort of unfair, but when people ask me, what is the number one Tom Ford item? Or what would you say is their best item? I always say the lipsticks. They have a range of shades that is so beautiful and a couple of their shades have started to really gain a lot of traction and become cult favorites. Casablanca is one of them. Spanish Pink is another really pretty one. Auto Erotique is my favorite nude. There are, are too many to mention. I mean, I just think they are all very glamorous, very nourishing. The Effing Fabulous is one of the most beautiful reds. I love this sleek packaging, the all matte black. This is just gorgeous. I had to have this as soon as I saw this. I think I picked this up around holiday and then I recently pulled it back out and I'm gonna start wearing it again because it just needs to be used. This should not be a lipstick that sits on your vanity and you never pick up. If you own this lipstick, throw it in your purse, wear it. I feel so feminine and powerful and confident whenever I'm wearing this lipstick. It just has that much power in this little tube. Today I'm actually wearing one of the mattes and I do also love the matte lipsticks. They're very comfortable and they do have ingredients. They have oils, etc., to hydrate your lips. They are special. But this one is one of the satin mattes, I believe. This is called the Lip Color Satin Matte. It's one of their slims, number 08. It is just a really pretty pink shade. So beautiful. London Suede is another one of these that's really gorgeous. Again, too many to mention. If you have a favorite Tom Ford lipstick shade, drop it down below. Night Porter is one of my favorite reds. Oh, there are just too many. Wild Ginger is a really beautiful color. I could go on just naming them. Bad Lieutenant, okay, I'm gonna stop myself. If you really like this style of video, I created a playlist, I'll link it down below, so that as I add different brands, I can keep them all in one place. That might be easier for you guys. And if you've been watching, you probably know that it is impossible for me to keep my list to 10 items. So I do have a couple quick honorable mentions. I absolutely love these Soleil Eye and Cheek palettes. I know they're coming out with a ton of new shades in March, I think is the month that I've been told. I love these. They are so beautiful. I cannot wait to see the new shades. These retail for $115. I think you get a blush, a highlight, an eyeshadow quad. A huge mirror. These are great for travel. I've taken this on trips before. One of the best buys from Tom Ford. I cannot wait to check out the new palette. So I wanted to mention this. They're on my radar. I will be doing a review as soon as I can see them. I skipped out on all of the new eyeshadow quads. None of them looked that interesting. These, very interesting to me. Cannot wait. I'm excited for March. And then this last item I'm just sort of going to mention. It's the Shade and Illuminate Foundation. I am wearing this today. This is new to my collection, but it's my favorite Tom Ford foundation. I think it takes the best of all of the others and combines it finally into one formula. So you have skincare, sun protection, glow, but great coverage. It is just the most beautiful finish. I am so over the moon with that formula. They needed to have something like this. So I'm happy that they came out with something that is so beautiful. 
And that completes my list of the best products from Tom Ford. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, your questions down below. I love hearing from you guys. So be sure to share your favorite products, maybe your least favorite products. Drop me a comment. We'll keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything that I have today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.